it is time to get this tilt steering column into my blazer. But first, we gotta take the old one out. So let's do it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I wanna do this safely, and I don't feel like chasing my truck down the hill. So we're gonna make sure that this parking brake is set. Because we are gonna be messing with the transmission, but not in the way you might think. Next, we're gonna move underneath the dash and we're gonna unplug all of the electrical connections going into the steering column I have here. We're gonna need to take this cover and this cover off. They're just gonna be in the way and we need better access to our cable connections anyways. This screw is just for show. Wouldn't be Washington if it wasn't raining. Now that we got this out of the way, let's show you what we're working with. I know this is a really awkward position, but just bear with me, okay? There's gonna be three switches that we need to take care of. We have to take care of this neutral safety switch, which has the neutral safety wires, as well as the reverse wires hooked in. Then we have our main harness for the steering column. And then on the top, we have our ignition switch harness that we'll have to disconnect. That one, you gotta reach around for. Just to make this less confusing, I'll show you on the other steering column so that you have a better picture. Here is the rebuilt steering column. And by the way, if you haven't seen the rebuild on that one, I'll put it down in the description so that you can see how that's done because that was a really fun project. Okay, first and foremost, we have the neutral safety switch. This is the main harness, which typically sits inside this tray right here. And then we have the ignition switch that we'll need to disconnect. Now, if you have a truck that has high beams on the column, then there's one more switch you'll have to disconnect. And that's this one right here. If you have a floor switch for your high beams, then you won't have to worry about this. All right, let's head back to the truck. Okay, I know it looks messy, but we got these cables disconnected from our neutral safety switch. We got the main harness disconnected and You know what, I'm not doing the hand acrobatics to show you that I got the ignition switch disconnected. Just trust me, it's disconnected. Can you do all of this once you have it lowered? Yes, I just don't like putting stress on wires. So I personally chose to do that first. Okay, now we are done with the interior of the cab for now. Now we're gonna jump into the engine compartment. All right, we are now chilling inside the engine compartment. This part's gonna look a little bit different for you, but the basics still apply. The only difference is I did the XJ steering shaft mod, which if you haven't heard of, I highly, highly recommend doing it. So I have my bolt on the top of my steering shaft. For you, if you haven't done this modification, yours is going to be going through your steering shaft, and that's what you're gonna be disconnecting. Then on either side of the steering column, you're gonna have a nut, which is a 15 millimeter nut. It'll probably be underneath some rubberized coating that you'll have to chip off, but then you'll be able to get that undone. So let's do that. It is no secret that itchy, scratchy beards suck, and you owe it to yourself to take care of your face forest. That is why I use Beard Octane. It's like fuel for your face. I mean, it even comes in like an oil container. How dope is that? Personally, I use Envy. I love the way it smells, but more importantly, my wife loves the way it smells. And here are some of her own testimonials, things she has actually said. Are you trying to get me addicted to smelling your face? Because it's working. Mm. Yep, that's the good stuff. You smell so good, I can't handle it. Wait, yes I can. You thought I was going in for a kiss? No, I just wanted to smell your face. You owe it to yourself to take care of your face and be the magnificent manifestation of manliness that you were born to be. To help you out with that, you can use the code theblazerbeam10 to get 10% off, or you can click the link down in the description. There's just no good way to access this one. Ow! I hit my ankle.
There we go. Hey, if you guys like seeing me struggle, like this video. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so all that attaches to this bracket right here, which holds the steering column in place on the engine compartment side. Now I'll put those nuts back on there so we don't forget those, because that's never fun. And here is the last piece inside the engine compartment. Right there, you'll see a little cotter pin. That cotter pin needs to be removed because that is the shift linkage that goes from your transmission to your column. So we need to take that guy off. All right, that guy is out. Now, back into the cab. All right, the next portion of this is right behind this wall here. This is what connects this plate to our firewall. So we're gonna try and get that out of the way without damaging it as much as possible. So it should be bolt here and here, then one, two, and three. Right, come on, come on, Bessie. And then our third one right there. And I have no idea what size those are. I'm gonna guess what, 7 sixteenths or half inch? You guys think half inch? I'm thinking 7 sixteenths. Oh, nope, it's smaller. Okay, maybe 3 eighths is our winner. Oh, it's metric, you gotta be kidding me. I love 80 trucks. Is it the 10 millimeter? Ah, uh, it's the 10 millimeter. Okay, well, now we know. You know what? I might have to disconnect this hook right here for the wire loom too. Let's do that. All right. There's one end of the plate. And there's the other end. And that's actually in better condition than the one I have for the other plate. I might just use these ones. It's a great benefit of doing a swap. You can pick and choose what you want to keep. So now, this rubber boot should be free. Okay, so for this last bit, we have two more nuts to take off. It's one right here, and then one right here. Those are gonna be that 15 millimeter that we used earlier. And we're just gonna send it. Now, this one's loose, the other one is still tight. Make sure you keep this nut on here because you don't want it to fall on you as you are disconnecting it. That would not be a fun day. Get our hands on there. Get number two. And now it's time to pull this out. Just make sure while you're pulling it out, double check that all of your connections are undone because the last thing you want is to have to do some wiring. No fun for anybody. All right, we got it out. So I'm gonna take this guy inside and compare it with the new tilt steering column. See if I want to put any of those components on here and vice versa, switch things out. You know how it is. But we're gonna leave the steering column install for the next video. So if you wanna continue to follow the journey where I replace random stuff on my truck, make sure you guys are subscribed and like this video so I can reach more people. I appreciate it, it helps out a lot. Y'all have fun, be safe, make good choices. Have a great day.